Such a tragic story there. Now, friends and relatives of those killed in Mandera yesterday flocked city mortuary here in the capital Nairobi for the better part of the day to identify the bodies of the loved ones. Lofty Matambo reports on the pain and shock witnessed at the mortuary. A somber mood at the city mortuary here in Nairobi. Weakened by grief and aided by Red Cross officers, they came in turns to identify and view the bodies of their departed loved ones that perished in the Tuesday morning Mandela attack. James Nduthia is yet to come to terms with the double loss. His brother and a cousin were working at the quarry and they were not lucky when Al Shabaab struck. I identify my brother and my cousin and I am a Kinyama. Sasa mimi ni geoba, selikali itusaidie kupeleka hii mili maali sisi tulasika watu. Due to the trauma, Red Cross officers decided to set up some tents in the mortuary compound to offer counseling services to the bereaved before they left. Most of them are expressing inability to cater for the burial costs. Mimi kuchia hakikicha ni yeye, kuchia ona yeye. Kusa hile kitu mimi sina ni weso. Because by the end of the day, the government owes the government owes a responsibility as far as security is concerned. Meanwhile, hundreds of non-locals are still flocking the army barracks in Mandera, demanding to be airlifted to their respective homes, expressing fear for more attacks, despite government's reassurance on their safety. Lofty Matambo, KTN.